Hey all, welcome to the first match in our um, journey into 8-Rack. So I'm going to do the um, unthinkable and say that I do want to go first here. Uh, and I'm going to stick to that, I'm going to stick to that for as long as it seems, <laughs> for as long as it seems reasonable. Um, right, let's have a look at this. Uh, I'm basically hoping to draw land after land in order to continue Raven's Criming removing creatures he plays as we go. I think it's probably just barely okay to keep. Um, maybe if I was on the draw I would mulligan this hand. So, bit of a coin flip this matchup. You know, it can go either way. Um, am I sorry I went first? No. <laughs> yeah, and now we are... Yeah, I mean now we've got options if we do draw that. Swamp, he might even help us a little bit. That's nice. So now we've got some lovely options here. I mean, small... Oh, that is good. I mean, that is so, so good. I mean, and... I, I, look, it sounds arrogant of me, but look at this. By having chosen to go first, look what, look what we have open to us. You know, I can dismember the guy, wait and see if he does something, you know, what, what his next move is. You know, um... I, I'm trying to think of a reason not to do smallpox here. So I want to keep dismember. Um, I want to keep both lands for obvious reasons. Rift bolt. Wow, yeah. So, yeah, he has gas. He has stuff going on. Not, not entirely useless. I think we're going to start with Inquisition in any case. So we might be able to pinch an idol on or something nasty. Of that. So the best card he has here is Lightning Bolt, so I'll take it. Suspends Rift Bolt. So I think we get the rack down here. The other argument is to force another discard, but uh, I think I want my Muta Vault. No land. Yep, that's fine. Come on in. All right, this is pretty nice. Oh, this is fantastic. Um, we know Searing Blaze and one other card. I just think there's no reason. Why wouldn't we do this? This is just too good. Go ahead and kill Lily if he wants to. That's okay. Sure. Nothing. Alright. Uh, Searing Blaze won't work. So sometimes what uh, your opponent will do if he's not experienced against 8 rack is he'll hoard to defend against the rack. I'm not sure if that's what this guy's doing, I don't think it is. Oh, what's going on there? Helix, okay. What, for fear of being, uh, yeah, for fear of being, uh, for fear of having to discard it before he got to use it. So, he's nice and tapped out there, so we are protected. Quite often, eight rack versus burn does come down to. It kind of feels like a race. It's almost like you become a burn deck yourself. Yeah, that's fine. So he's going to four. I can smallpox here, which is just, just not fair. It's do work. He just doesn't even try. Okay. Wow, I'm not sure. Could he have won from there? Maybe not. On two life, he can't cast any more spells. Yeah, that was probably probably game over, I suppose. So, there's some obvious cards that come out here. We don't like Thoughtseize against Burn. We don't like Bob against Burn, so that goes against my uh, <laughs> worship of him. Um, Fatal is very, very good. Uh, candidate to come in. Wrench is very good. Uh, he won't be running any artifacts. Um... The question is though what comes out, what comes in instead. Candidates would be blackmail. 
Funeral Charm, I just really don't like here at all. I don't want to play Funeral Charm. He's going first. Okay, again, the hand is a bit lackluster. Um, I think it is a keep, though. So, there's a question here as to whether I should Fatal or Inquisition. I think you can make a really good case either way here. Um, so I think the right uh, the right one here is Lava Spike. Um, what did he do there? He's, he's played his, his spell cracked. What was that? A Wooded Foothills. Second Wooded Foothills. So we know we know what we're dealing with here. All right. So I think now's the time. Heading back. nice wrench mind or something in the dark it's often a good idea not to play it until you know what's going on oh wow rage quit um <laughs> that's a shame actually because he, he wasn't dead there uh, what do i do here 20 play points there we go uh again i'm hoping to hit a swamp um this matchup oh it's not is it Oh, is this like the, um, oh, is this that Krak clan ironworks, something or other? I think if it is, I'm obviously going to do this instead of wrench. Uh, it is. Wow, cool. Get stirrings here. Mm, I might as well play this. So wrench might is horrendous here. I actually haven't played this match before, so this will be interesting. Buried Ruin, we have to see what that is. What does that do? Return target art, art from a graveyard to my hand. Okay. Mm. Combo in general, um, very good matchup for us. The, the deck again playing out quite differently. Um... And I think we want to bring in Leyline of the Void as well. Mm -hmm. I think it's got to happen though. Yeah. I, th I, I, I think I can see the loop he's, he's, he's creating here. Either of these two cards in his hand. Yes, yeah, so his scrap draw goes back. just has all the pieces gets the ironworks down but then can he make enough mana to play and go off on his I think he can can't he, he can okay cool deck this it's a very cool deck yep so he makes a bajillion mana keeps bringing back the wellspring draws his whole deck Maybe the deck doesn't work the way I thought it did. He's not going to. I don't suppose it matters. He gets the mana though. I thought he was ready to go off there. Can't keep doing that turn after turn and expect to live. Come on, man, you need to go off. So you can make four mana, so why don't you do it? What? Why? So do I make him sack here? I think I do, and then I can crime it out of his hand, right? <laughs> Whatever he puts in his hand here. That's good advice. 
I've only been playing the game for 13 years, you'd think I'd... Where's that... Where is that thing? The three drop? In the Icar Icar well spring back? Something to do with that, maybe? Alright, we'll just do that same thing again. Seems good. Dredge, you know, is so hopeless and... Hardly ever comes up. Um, that to chew up four slots, you know, and I'm not bringing it in against, you know, your Death Shadows and your Snapcaster Mages and that kind of thing. So it comes in here. Yes. Wrench, absolutely horrendous. No way in hell that we would continue with that. To sub for it. I think a couple of bobs, that natural tension between them and Smallpox is okay still. Um, getting blocked by a mere retriever is kind of annoying. Wow. Oh, yeah, okay, so, and this is where Bob, in the in the build, does sometimes rear his head and say, hey, I've got a question for you. Hand with both him and Smallpox in it. Um, turn one rack, turn two Bob, he's not going to remove Bob. Um... And just draw a bunch of cards, eventually play Lily. That's probably okay. I think that's probably okay. It's good. It's a good enough line to say keep here on the draw. Uh, Swamp would have been quite good as well. When I saw Chromatic Star, Chromatic Sphere, it's like your heart sinks. You think it's Green Tron, and, uh, which is just a, a most unfun match uh, for eight right for anyone, really. I Just for the record, I hate it. Can't wait for them to... I don't want... I don't need them to ban Urza's Tower, but like, ban Expedition Map. Just, if you guys could do that for me, ban Expedition Map. And, um, I, I know you've released Dampening Sphere or whatever in the new set, Dominaria thingy. Uh, maybe it'll have an impact, I don't know. I hope it does. But, um, I think it's just staring here to keep him from building his, assembling his... card is, or maybe we do, no we don't, okay, so star, Terrarian, Terrarian, uh, and I think we can take the land pretty happily, sure, what happened in game one, if he actually could have gone off, and didn't, and you know, whatever, like he's so far behind, if I go land, I'm definitely playing this land, if I go smallpox, rack, like he's so far behind, and then I can bob, Oh, which card do I pitch that? I have to pitch Lily. He's in bad enough shape at that point. I think you could make a case either way for either Lily by herself or these two cards going out together. In any case, we're abandoning Smallpox. So I'll take the road less travelled here and do this. <laughs> I don't know what the right answer was there. Wow. Okay. So she's coming out. I think it's... Um, let's try and leverage Bob. He can't actually get this thing back into his hand easily. So I'll do it this way. That's annoying. Inventor's fair, it really is. Alright, there's the star. There's the Terrarian. Please no other horrible little annoying thing. Oh, what's this? What's he doing? Stirrings? What on earth are you doing, mate? Blue. Uh-oh. Okay. Oh, it's a legend. Mind Stone. Sure. Terrarian. Sure. Yeah. Yeah, I do want to do double smallpox next turn, so I will throw away this swamp. So that she has her sack outlet available. Drawing an extra card with Bob is fine. Um, very happy with that. So he takes five here in total because of the Inventor's Fair. That gold, that's a legend. He can't sacrifice Buried Ruin yet. That's totally fine, mate. Oh, you poor dude. This matchup is probably tough for him. What's he going to do? He's going to start trying to make mana. Find me something. Oh, what was that? 
Grove of the Burn. Oh, that's his land for the turn. Okay. Oh, wow. Smallpox pitch this. Smallpox picks that. Yeah. And then he dies on his upkeep. Hmm. <laughs> The whole, the whole smallpox versus Bob thing, you know, it, it manifested itself here, but did it upset us much when it came time to say goodbye to him just now? It's not too bad, you know, I'm not too unhappy. Right. Oh, he dies. Oh, he does die. Trigger doesn't, yeah. No, he's got to fill his hand with... Okay, yep, he can fill his hand. That's something he can do. Yep. There might still be a way he can pull this off. I don't know. Usually this is absolutely an unbreakable... You know, lock. It's just so hard to get out from under this when you've... you've um, okay, guys, look, thanks again for watching. So far, so good with this. Um... And uh, I'll see you in the next video.